no doubt tonight you will have your hands full in a match against Raisha Saeed. But to make matters worse, you know that Kong won't be far behind her. Kong? I don't give a about Kong. Well, wait, Roxy, I know this is your first interview, but you, Spike won't allow you to use that language. Sorry. I don't give a about Spike TV either. I learned a long time ago, it's not a matter of how many matches you win. I've lost tons of matches. I've barely won any of them. But I'm still friggin' standing here. I've had my head shaved. I've been busted open. It doesn't matter. I've survived. And you think, Kong, that I'm gonna go run and hide because of you? Kong, you can kiss my okay? You can come bring it on, you big The harder, the better. Oh, and sorry, Spike. Can you give us an update on Lance and Jimmy? I know they were just taking the hospital. I'm, thank you. I'm going right now. <gasps> oh, You're God. Where right now? What are you doing? I'm going to go right now. You guys, I've got to, I've got to go. No, you you're not going, going anywhere. anywhere. Shut up. I've got to go Stop right now. now. You see what that is? Look at it. That is a television camera, Hemi. Okay. Hey, hey, how about this? How about you shut your mouth until we're done talking? How about that? Yeah. You want to tell me why you, of all people, are taking our TV time, huh? You? Why? Don't you know that the beautiful people have a new set we're supposed to debut tonight? That's right, Hemi. And we also have to do an HD test with the new cameras that we're going to be using on the show next week for the very first time. Oh. Ugh. Speaking of HD... It's going to make every little blemish on your stupid, ugly face make you look ten times uglier than you already are. I have got yeah. to go. You're let me go. Stop it. Let me go. Whatever happened to please, huh, Hemi? Please, this. Oh, yeah? Oh, oh, my God. Get her, girls. Get her. How about that? Oh. oh my god. Chrissy. Morgan. I mean, I mean, think about it. Kurt Angle's been blindsided everybody. This time he's gonna face the big seven footer in the ring, and he's gonna be prepared. You heard it. Jim Cornette made the announcement. Kurt Angle, Matt Morgan tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall in his TNA knockout section. Is Raisha Saeed. Did you get the impression that I did at Bound for Glory that the TNA Knockout Champion Taylor Wilde was very fortunate to leave Chicago, Illinois, with the championship belt? Oh, you got that right, Mike. I mean, it was awesome, Tom's match. The winner lose, it felt like, but she got on a on a roll of destruction like she does. But it's something about Taylor Wilde again. She figured out a way to get the win. This time, not by pinning Kong, but of course by pinning Roxy and keeping that title. And now, introducing her opponent from New Orleans, Louisiana, TNA Knockout, Roxy. TNA's hard four knockout, Roxy, and that point was certainly driven home earlier tonight during her pre-match interview, wasn't it? I'll tell you what, the FCC's gonna be on call every time she gets into an interview the way she was going, but, you know, Roxy is somebody that is so unique in this division. I mean, she really is hardcore. She's a fighter. She's not afraid of blood. She's not afraid of mixing up with anybody. And look at her just go right at Risa Saeed, throwing those shots in the clothesline. Do I still have it in my mind? That meeting between Jeff Jarrett and Mick Foley, just as Mick was getting ready to walk out of the impact zone, what do you think they could be talking about? I, I couldn't hold my excitement because you're so upset about Mick saying farewell and then Jeff saying, hold on, you don't want to go out like that. Just give me 10 minutes in my... You and I have known him a long time. You know how persuasive Jeff Jarrett can be. Boy, that is a story that we have to stay directly on top of tonight. Raisha Saeed in control here against Roxy. Really rocked her that time with the forearm shot. Brings her back out towards the center of the ring and drilled her again right in the face. You know, we don't talk about what a good wrestler that Raisha Saeed is enough. I mean, think about though. She gets to watch Austin Kong on a nightly basis and gets to see what Austin Kong 
Williams can do. Yes, he doesn't have the physical size and power that a Kong does, but you get that winning attitude. You get that attitude of, of causing pain and, and, and causing hurt, and you're going to have to fight that way when you're out there against somebody like Roxy. Remember the history of Raisha Saeed that we have documented here on Impact, training in the dojos of Japan with Awesome Punk. Very accomplished, as you can see, right there with that snap suplex. In fact, she's a, she's a, a better technical wrestler than Roxy is. Now, Roxy, though, is just a better brawler, a better fighter. That's what makes her so good, but look at this. Just, oh, pulling back on the arm, doing the surfboard, and then just kicking her right down to the mat. What sounds to me like of all people, TNA management's Jim Cornette certainly has faith in that big seven-footer, the blueprint, Matt Morgan. Well, I'll tell you what, it's different when somebody's waiting on you and you think about it. Kurt's just using that emotion that he's got charged up, just wanting to hurt everybody to get his point across. And then he saw what he did. He got under Jeff Jarrett's skin. Jeff Jarrett wanted him after he'd already made the decision he was done. This is a good move by Jim Cornette. Take Jeff out of the equation, put Matt Morgan in it. Absolutely not. Nobody's safe here in the impact zone tonight with Kurt Angle on a rampage. We're talking about wrestlers, referees, security, even our ring announcer Dave Penzer's been taken out. Yeah, he's been taken to the hospital from what I understand. I mean, it's unbelievable, and he may have some severe damage to his face, and we're going to try to find that out. He took an unbelievable shot, and then you see Raisa Saeed going up top. Again, fearless, and there she goes! But she went for that top kick, and Roxy able to get out of the way. Couldn't connect with the missile drop kick. You see Kong cheering her on from ringside, trying to get her back into this match. But Roxy can sense it here that she can really turn it around. Series of shots, and then that spinning discus-like forearm. I like how Roxy grabs the back of the head to hold it in place while she throws those right. Just, oh, she went away. Kong missed her. She was able to go through and nail her with the kick to the gut. Right back to it. There goes Raisha into the ropes. Going to take her, scoop her and just fall away slam overhead by Roxy. Just let that momentum carry her. Look at her, she's going after Kong. Oh! Bad move. Sometimes you need to just stick with the action in the ring, but that's her. She decided she'd go out there and take a shot at Kong. Kong let her have it. Oh! Did you see that? Lost her focus momentarily, but then when Kong went for the spinning back fist, she just put her hand right into that steel ring post, and Roxy all oh, hooks the boots to Kong. Put it right to the steel step. I guess I shouldn't have judged Rocky too soon. She had a game plan. She knew what she was doing. Game plan may end with that cage and drop. There it is. Voodoo drops. She's got it. One, two, done it. Time to celebrate the win as Awesome Kong still reeling, but that fifth in that ring post uh -oh. comes in all oh, in Plant Buster. Oh, just kills her with it. Well, Roxy may have gained the victory on impact, but I think it's safe to say Awesome Kong has the last word. Let's send it to Lauren with the blueprint, Matt Morgan. He meets Curtis.